Hi, Cancers. It's um, with a reading for Cancer. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Cancer strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's go ahead and get the cards out on the table for Cancer, for the Cancer people, for the sign of Cancer. Now I am going, well, let me finish shuffling and then I can. We have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Gosh, gosh, Cancer, this is nice energy. All right, let's see what frequencies you're going to hold. What frequencies will Cancer hold? What frequencies? You have the Eight of Cups in Reverse. Eight of Cups in Reverse. King of Pentacles. Very nice. And the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Now let's clarify this Eight of Cups in Reverse. Tell us more about this Eight of Cups in Reverse, please. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands energy. I'm going to clarify some of these cards now before I get started. Six of Swords. Looking at the Six of Swords now. Clarifying the Six of Swords. Clarifying the Six of Swords. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands sort of in the reverse. All right. What is your focus here as a King of Pentacles? So you, we have you in the, in the frequency of the King of Pentacles in the middle of the month. So I just want to see what your main focus is here. See if we can get a little bit more information on this King of Pentacles. The frequency of the King of Pentacles. Of the world energy. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of people this month. This Ace of Pentacles has come out in at least two, I think maybe three of the readings I've done today. Um, the world has come out today. And the King of Pentacles has come out today. So there are people making some significant progress. And Spirit was um, channeling through me this morning that... So it, that's what I was channeled this morning. Was it this morning or yesterday morning that was channeled through? So um, it'll be interesting to watch this too for, for some of the zodiac signs. I think for many zodiac signs, it'll be interesting this month to see how these readings go all, you know, as I'm doing all 12, uh, it'll be interesting to see if that kind of forward momentum is here for everyone or it's just for certain signs. All right. I want to, before I'm stopping, I want to go into, oh gosh, there's so many. Okay. I'm going to stop clarifying and just start. And then um, if I feel the need to clarify more, I will. Um, just as a reminder, I am representing the, the zodiac sign of cancer. So this is for the cancer people. Now, if you're a cross watcher, you're welcome here, but just know that I'm representing cancer. So I'm going to be biased toward cancer. If there's someone else that's coming into this reading, I am representing them. And when I do the other readings, I'm representing those signs. So I just want to be clear about, um, about my, my representation as a reader. Um, in this reading. So let's go ahead and get started. You're moving Cancer into the Six of Swords as you're moving into. So this is really about um, creating a good plan, uh, being strong in your understanding. And we know with the yin energy, um, the yin energy is uh, when it comes to a plan and implementation and forward movement, it has to do with data, organization, the routine, um, the quality uh, of the work that's being done, it connects in with, with the uh, fulfillment and acceptance and, and, uh, the tall, there's an energy of tolerance here. Um, 
tolerance. There's also an energy of tolerance, a tolerance of chaos. But see, when the Six of Swords is here, it, there's a plan that's developed, right? If this happens, then we're going to do this. If that happens, then we're going to do this. So yes, there can be chaos at times. There can be change at times. And with the Six of Swords, we know that we have a way of dealing with that, right? That's the energy of the Six of Swords. It helps the yin. It helps the feminine. And, and feminine, and we have feminine in all of us, no matter if we're masculine or feminine, um, as a gender, we have these qualities, yin and yang, within us. I personally believe, personally, that we're connecting in to the, uh, to the nervous system with the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. And the Six of Swords is connecting in to the, um, what I would call the, uh, I, the parasympathetic nervous system. This is just my take on it. This, I'm not a doctor or scientist. And then with the Six of Wands, you're connecting in with the sympathetic nervous system. I feel like that's the kind of thing we're dealing with. Um, but that's beyond the point. And um, we do have the Eight of Wands coming in here. So it's not quite time. Um, it might not be quite time to take action yet. Like the, the, the craziness hasn't happened yet. The, the momentum hasn't really happened yet. Um, but there's a plan developed. There's a way forward. There's policies. There are discussions like, okay, um, I'm going to do this and um, I have these two accounts and I have this incoming and I'm going to, it's going to come here first and then going to go there. And then as far as the outgoing, you know, it's just planning and organization and having a way forward. And the ultimately, it really is about when this excitement is about to take off with the, we're talking about the eight of wands here that's lingering around. This is forward momentum, excitement, enthusiasm, hustle and bustle. When this is about to take off, you'll be ready to go. You'll have a plan and everyone will know and everyone will have their, you know, their jobs to do and that kind of a thing. That will help move the situation into a much more peaceful and efficient um, ex experience, right? So that's the goal as cancer is moving forward um, into the month. Now, this also brings in confidence, confidence in the plan, confidence in what is being um, delegated, that kind of thing. Um, for Cancer, the first part of the month, you, we have you in the Eight of Cups energy, um, and that is clarified by the Seven of Wands, all right? So um, this is a time of really being careful with your time and your focuses, because it looks like a change has already been made, right? And now it's to be strong in really sticking to the plan, not going back and doing those old things out of habit or, you know, it, it really is, okay, I've made some changes. What are those changes? I'm going to stick to the plan and it almost feels like the eight of pentacles energy but it comes with this change and, and sometimes when we make changes we can get called back to the old way sometimes and and this card is saying let's be strong let's continue forward with the decisions that you've made and those endings and those changes that you've made in the past like i'm not going to do this anymore well i'm not going to do that anymore I spent two days doing that, and then at the end, it just broke. So I know not to do that, you know? It's like, whatever it is, like, I'm, I am I don't want to go back to the old way. I want to stay strong, and I want to move forward. You know, it could be somebody, like, saying, you know, okay, um, you know, I, I can think of a whole bunch of examples, but I'm not sure if I should say them. But, you know, it's I was, like, a friend of mine, I was talking to a friend of mine, and um, he's saying, you know, I am... I, um, puffed a little bit on marijuana over the summer, but now school's starting. And so I'm done with that, right? And now it's time to be strong. You know, it's that kind of an energy. We're talking about real world situations here, right? So it's that kind of a space, like being strong, carrying through, sticking to, sticking to the plan with the seven of wands. Um, and so there's a, there's a bigger goal here than just, you know, uh, the little things, a bigger goal here. Now, um, it does look like early on in the month, there is something kind of exciting that happens. Um, could be getting together with friends. There could be a new introduction. There could be something kind of exciting happen. It's a page. You know, it's nothing huge. It's nothing life changing, but it is kind of exciting. So some of you, uh, the, the energies are going to be just right for, for spontaneity. That's what it feels like. Spontaneity, getting out, doing something, going out to dinner, um, going for a hike. It comes with excitement. It's like make, texting, hey, you want to, uh, you want to go hiking this weekend? Do you want to go, do you want to go to the beach? You know, oh, going to the beach? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's go. And all of a sudden the clouds lift and, um, there's new excitement. That kind of an energy is here. And so those of you that are, you know, kind of you know, this six of swords can be hard. You've got your, 
you know, your eyes on the computer screen, your, you know, whatever it is, this can be kind of a hard energy. So there could be some of you cancers that really do like to get out of the bubble of the consciousness that you were in and, and have a taste of something else. That's what it feels like um, with this page of wands. Let's go into the energy just really quickly. Let's go into the page of wands. Let's go into the page of wands. Let's go into the page of wands energy. Tell me more about this page of wands. Seven of Pentacles. Huh, it's connected in with the Seven of Pentacles. It could be plans that you're making. You could be talking about plans. That makes sense. Okay. Some of you are, are talking about future plans, and this is really exciting to do this. It's really fun. And you know, um, uh, during the Kundalini, there would be times when, when spirit would say to me, okay, it's time to bring in some, because it, the Kundalini is really the resetting of the nervous system, if you ask me. And sometimes we have to kind of move ourselves into a new grid line because the nervous system does connect in to squares and grids and stuff like that. And so, um, spirit's like, okay, um, I have a, a um, I, I am a, I have a world mark timeshare. And so this is true. And Spirit said, okay, let's go to the World Mark Timeshare and let's schedule a vacation. You don't have to do it. You can always cancel it. And that's what the World Mark, you can. I'm not, I'm not sponsoring them. I'm not approving of them or anything. I'm just telling you the story. And so I would say, and it's time now to move into a new grid line. And I would love to do that because I have Sag rising and I have, you know, it's, it's an Aquarius and it really connects in. So I would, I would go in and I'd find a place I'd like to go and I would have points. And so it wouldn't cost me anything to schedule it. And it wouldn't cost me anything to go if I, if I decided to go and I would get to look at all the places that are available and I would decide on which one I wanted. I would call up my sisters. Hey, do you want to, I'm, I'm thinking about planning all of a sudden the energy changed, right? It's that planning. It's that excitement. It's connecting in with other people. It's, it's it, um, excitement about the future. It, it can lift the, it can lift the mood. It can lift you into a new mindset. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to do it uh, for me anyway. It didn't mean that I would have to carry it through, but it meant I could get into that frequency. I could get into that energy. I could schedule something out in advance. I wouldn't have to pay, you know, so there's something like that. And I almost feel like you're doing that intentionally because here's the thing. The eight of wands hasn't started yet. So there could be some of you that could be a little down, right? Six, six of swords is hard because it forces you to look at the data. It forces you to look at the real situation because the goal here is to make it better, right? So, and the six of wands is very detailed, very detail oriented, investigative energy. So the, the whole group of you who are doing this kind of energy could really need a little bit of a lift as you move, um, as a little bit of a bump, a, a bump up as you're moving forward. It looks like it's something that you could work on, that you could look forward to, that you could plan. And I think that is, for many of you, that is the kind of energy that we're, that we're looking at. So um, now, uh, gosh, that was a big story. Okay. Um, we have you in the Eight of Cups in the reverse, moving into the King of Pentacles. So uh, this emotional uh, hardship, the sticking to the to your own lane, keeping with your own promises to yourself, that is a kind of self-love, right? This is a kind of self-love. It is real self-love, right? It is real self-love to make decisions like this for yourself and then stick to it. Um, it does look like you're moving into, you still have that strength in your energy, but you're moving um, into a masculine king of pentacles space in the middle of the month. So you are looking at something that you're, that you are doing. And look, the, the Ace of Pentacles is here. So you're looking at something that you're doing. And I feel like you could be preparing for it. Um, there is a new beginning here with the world energy. There definitely is a new beginning. And the King of Pentacles looks at the big, uh, looks at the big points of view. He looks at how much it's going to cost. He looks at the, his income and expenses. He looks at how to take care of something like, okay, what's a, what is my plan for this home? What do I need to do to maintain this home this year? What do I need to maintain this home? Oh, look, it's connecting to home too. So it could very well be something like that for cancer. I mean, could, you know, the King of Pentacles could say, okay, I have a home. Uh, this is just an example of the King of Pentacles. And then it could be, all right, so this year I'm going to paint it. And in three years, I want to put on a back deck 
And, you know, it really is like that's what the King of Pentacles does. He comes up with a plan. He's very reasonable. He's very practical. He wants to make sure he has the money for it. He wants to make sure he has the, the crew for it. You know, and he really looks at those um, kind of things in a big way. It looks like there's something here that you're uh, contemplating doing or you're starting to do a new beginning or a new way of doing it. Now, um, the world energy sometimes can take a while, just like this lady who just had a baby. It can take a little while um, to get it started. But with the King of Pentacles here, and especially with the King of Pentacles, especially with the King of Pentacles, because the King of Pentacles wants to make sure um, that everything is in order before he starts. He doesn't like to, he doesn't like to, he doesn't like to go backwards. King of Pentacles does not like to go backwards. He likes to continue moving forward in success. So whatever is happening here, um, Cancer, you're being very careful. You're looking at the big, uh, you're looking at the bigger, looking at this with a bigger frame of mind. Um, the, the Queen of Pentacles would be looking at, okay, how much would this cost if we did this? And, you know, I'm not sure if we should do that this year. I think that, you know, I looked at the funding and I looked at the budget and, you know, and then you'd have to, that's King of, the Queen would go and talk to the King and King would say, well, well, I don't know. Um, you know, we, we only, you know, that's the Queen and the King is, you know, he, he's thinking in a big way. So there's some big thinking going on and the King of Pentacles always thinks into the future because really what the King of Pentacles wants to do is have fun. That's what he wants to do, but he works hard today so that he can have fun in the future. That's one of the reasons why Capricorn sometimes is connected in with the King of Pentacles because there can be a lot of intensity with the King, you know, he could be really wanting to work really hard because he really wants to have fun. <laughs> he can get in, in a little bit into that trap. Um, but yeah, you're thinking about things in a big sense now, looking at budget, looking at the big money, looking at the big picture stuff, uh, because it looks like there is something new coming in here because the world energy has been been brought forward to clarify. And now I can feel my energy changing. So there is a change here. You will, those of you that are resonating, you will literally feel a change in your own energy uh, in the middle of the month. That's what I, uh, and I, that, that feeling and that information is coming forward in a very uh, confirming way um, just now. So I, I do think that there is a lot of relevance with this energy that we see here in the middle of the month. Now, there is, we do have a Four of Wands here. So we do see that there is something with the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles connecting into the Four of Wands. Feels like there is some sort of formality here. Something is happening that is really helping to build confidence in what you're doing. And it's connecting in with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be a, there could be a contract that you're signing. There could be an agreement between two people. There could be an engagement. Uh, it's something that helps you to bring confidence to your relationships, to the money that you earn, and to the work that you do. Um, the Four of Wands is here because we do want to move past those basic things. We do want to think about enhanced futures and, and new goals and new milestones. And if we're, we're kind of stuck worrying about our relationships or worrying about our money or worrying about if we're going to make it through the next day, then that enhanced creativity that enhanced dreaming, it, it's hard to get that to come about. So when we have the Four of Wands, we, we can start to dream. We can start to look into other things. We can start to enhance our futures, right? Because we have that confidence. And then we get engaged into new success. And that's really what's happening here, Cancer, because um, you're moving from this big picture economical management energy into the Ace of Pentacles, which is making it happen. So it, you know, I really feel like with, with you and the frequency of the Ace of Pentacles, you are doing something, you are engaging in something that really is going to bring you into a better place, whether it's a new relationship, whether it's more money, whether it's a new home in a new community, uh, it is something that's going to be better for you. Um, I, I just, I saw in my mind coins just falling onto a pile. Yes, I'm seeing that in my mind, coins, big ones silver ones like it's a there's a big pile and they just keep falling down on the pile so for many of you this is connecting in um with uh, with more money ability to engage in new things uh it's it's going to be a um some of you could be connecting in with a windfall some of you could be connecting in with a real windfall here with this ace of pentacles and you're really participating in that you're implementing it you're doing it you're part of it you are the you are the frequency of abundance. 
right? Ace of Pentacles. Sure, it's at the beginning, but I still see that pile of coin. Um, that's, that's in the, this coin. I, I connected back into that image and the coins are still falling. I mean, I don't want to make it too outlandish, um, but, but the coins are still falling in. Now, as you move out of the month, you're in the two of cups in, in the two of cups position. So with the two of cups position, remember it is a two and that does connect in with how we make decisions, how our mind works, what helps us to decide one way or the other. And we have the two of cups here. There is a special friend or a special relationship, could be a lover, could be a, a soulmate, could be a family member, could be a coworker, um, could be a child. Um, and, but when we make decisions, when we, when we plan for what we're doing and when we make decisions, we make them um, not only for our own best interest, but we have another person that we're thinking of too. Because both of these people have cups. They have their own cups. And when I fill my cup, um, it, it helps to fill your cup. And when your cup is filled, it helps to fill my cup. And it's very reciprocal. It's very on the same page. So there, there, you are in that energy. There's something that you're doing, not only for yourself, but for a partner or for a friend. Um, and for many of you, this could very well be love. I mean, we could really be talking about somebody stepping into a new ro a romantic situation. If that's the case, I mean, we have the six of sword, we have fire energy, we have king of pentacles, um, we have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, with the ace of pentacles. Um, we, um, and that's the only real sign that's here. So, um, once we become king, king and queens and emperors and empresses, we really can fold, fill the roles of, of all the queen, kings and queens. So um, I'm not sure if if this king of pentacles, I think it's more your energy than another person. So um, let's go ahead. I want to connect into the four of wands. I, I really do want to connect in there because I want to see who's connected. Who else is connected? See, we have the two of cups right here too. Let's go into the four of wands and see what this what's inside of this energy. What is inside of this energy? Tell me more. What is inside of this energy? Strength. There could be Leo here. Fiery energy. Um, there's a mild energy here. A calm. Um, a carefulness connected in with the Four of Wands. Let's pull another card. There could be a lot of protection in this energy, like you feel protected, you feel cared for. That's what the King of Pentacles does. He cares, he protects, he guides, he nourishes. So you could have a family here that really is um, benefiting um, from this or a home that is coming together or two homes that are merging into one. Let's see if there's another card that comes. We have the Empress energy. Yep, there we go. Empress energy, nurturing, mothership, mothership. <laughs> I have never said that before. <laughs> I do not even know what that means. <laughs> it sounds like aliens to me. The great maternal energy. Oh, we have the emperor just flip over. So yeah, we have, we have um, some seasoned cancer energies here. Some seasoned cancer people here are experiencing this. Okay, and I want to look into the Two of Cups as well. Let's pull these clarifiers back. And let's look at the King of, or let's look at the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. I just, I was about ready to see, to say King of Cups. So some of you could have a King of Cups here. Cancer, oh, oh my gosh, okay. Some of you could have a King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you, there could be a masculine king here that's connected in. Let's look at the Two of Cups. Tell me more about this Two of Cups energy. Tell me more about this Two of Cups energy. Oh, look. Look what flipped. King of Cups. King of Cups. Flipped over. So um, we have the Page of Pentacles here. There's, there is a, a, a stabilization and an improvement and a new beautiful quality that's being, that's being worked on here. Could be some, some, a gift. You could be preparing to, to give a gift to a partner. There could be some sort of a gift that you're working on. Could be. Tell me more about the Two of Cups. Cause you're, you're offering love, right? You're, 
your cup is filled or you're filling your cup by offering. That's what the two of cups, when we offer something to someone else, it, it fills their cup, but it also fills our cup too. That's that cup energy. What I do for you, I do for me. What you do for you, you do. It's, it's that kind of an exchange. Six of Wands flipped over too. It's a sun energy flipped over. Yeah, I, we're just, yeah. I think we're getting, I think we're getting it. I think, I, I think we've got that. Let's go into the Ace of Pentacles and see if there, there's just one, there's just more here. I think there might be more here to, to get. Just, I can feel a little bit more energy coming from that. Let's go into the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Could be a connected to a King of Wands. Oh, I see. I, it does look like there's something big that you're going to be doing. Uh, because the King of Wands is coming in. He's coming in. He's, and this would be your energy. So for some of you, Cancer, there's something big that you're going to be doing. Going on a trip. Um, building something. Um, pre presenting. Having a speech. Um, starting a new job. Uh, there could be some of you that are entering into relationships with the King of Wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. King of Wands energy. Oh, the chariot tried to come out. Okay. That's uh, one more, sh one more pass through and then we'll be good on this one. I, oh, gosh. It's a Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Um, <sighs> You got love in your heart, baby. You got a full loving heart here, whether it's the love that you have for your home and for your friendships and for your jobs or the love, the romantic love that you have for someone else. Um, there, there's, there's love here floating all around for cancer, love floating all around here. Um, for cancer, for the cancer people, you're, you're moving forward in love. You could be giving a gift. You could be extending yourself to someone. There could be a romantic love here. There could be an engagement. There could be a marriage. Wow, Knight of Cups. There's that King of Cups. Uh, you guys, some of you are connecting in with soulmates. I, I just have to say it. You know me. I'm not overly um, romantic these days, although... I do believe that I'm going to be connecting back into that, and maybe I am, because there, um, I that was channeled down. That now finally I'm I'm able to to bring love in and look at these readings that came in today. So, uh, for some of you, there's romantic love here, and for some of you, there's commitment in love as well with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Gosh, and with the Two of Cups. All right, uh, before we go, now it's time. I'm going to spend some time pulling some sticker cards. So for those of you that don't aren't inspired by this by the sticker cards, um, you might not want to stay, but um, I am going to pull some sticker cards to see what kind of images we get. Um, and sometimes these images connect into the viewership in a special way. So I don't read them per se like I would read tarot, but it is interesting to see what kind of images fall on the table. So I'm going to do that now. Those of you that aren't interested, um, I am so happy that you were here. Um, it's wonderful uh, to be in this kind of energy. It's wonderful to be seeing this kind of movement for cancer, uh, for the cancer people. So um, I'm glad you were here and, and thank you for that. And so now I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go. There's a lot of them. I'm just going to go through them one time. So what falls out, falls out. And if there aren't any, then there aren't any. But let's see if there's any images here that might connect in with you guys in a special way. Three images here that connect. Ooh, drama. Drama. Oh, then here's a ring. Huh. You know, um, some of you, are, you guys are getting rings slipped on your fingers. On the special fingers, too. On the fingers that count. Well, one, two, three, five. All mine count. I think all yours count, too. But you know what I mean. Ooh, we have music. Face the music. <laughs> handyman energy. There could be some handyman kind of stuff here. Yeah, huh. This might be the only one that comes out on the table. Ooh. What does this mean? See, these are hard for me to read, but... For some of you guys, they make a lot of sense. Shine. Oh, here's that diamond. Sparkle and shine. Some of you guys are. <laughs> um, it, I've already said it, so I don't want to repeat it. But 
we also have this interesting card. And then when I'm making these, like I'm being guided to these. So um, sometimes I don't even know what they even mean. You know, and th this is really about instructions, a, a way forward. Oh, six of six of swords. I see it's connecting in with the six of swords. It's a plan. It's the route. Um, which way are we going to go? Lots of different ways, you know. Um, so it does look like it's connecting in with planning, but there is something here um, about this diamond and jewelry, sparkle and shine kind of energy. Gosh. All right, you guys. Uh, looks like love stories are coming back in, and that is wonderful. We all need a little love these days. And so um, there's a little bit of sparkle shininess here um, in this energy for cancer. So my friends, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to be in this energy. Wishing all of you the best. Um, let us know if you have a beautiful love story to share, share with us. We, the, those of us who, who don't have this energy, uh, appreciate hearing about it anyway. So, all right, my friends, thank you for being here. It was a real pleasure. Have a wonderful month. And I look forward to reading for you again in a few weeks. All right. Thank you.